we have a couple of questions actually before we wrap up with predictions and the winner of Behind the Lines number two this week has to be Don Connolly on account of the fact that he's asked a second very good question. Um, he asks, uh, or he's out, so he says rather, word of Kean Keller moving back to Leinster, can Connacht progress as a feeder team? And Kean McIntyre also asks any thoughts on Kean Keller's move back to Leinster, which hasn't actually been confirmed yet, uh, but is going to happen, let's be honest. Um, any thoughts there, Lance? I don't think... I'm not sure what how he's phrased. Can Connacht progress as a feeder team, as in if they lose the likes of Keane Keller? I suppose he perceives them to be a feeder team at the moment if they're losing the likes of Keller. Well, they've been fed for a long time. Like well, Keane Keller came Keller. down to them from yeah. Leinster. So it's not like Connacht, if, if Keane Keller was from Monave or he was from, you know, a local club down in, in Galway where they're losing him to Leinster. He came from Leinster. Now he's going back. So I don't, I think Connacht are doing brilliantly in terms of how they develop their their young players. The game is growing. You get 8,000 people last week in a set out there. I don't, you know, when I played in Connacht, that happened once in a pre World Cup warm up for South Africa in 07. They went and won the World Cup, but that was a set out. You never got close to that other than you know, a three to 4,000 crowd. So they're, they're, Connacht won't, I certainly don't think they're viewing themselves as a, as a club who loses their best talent now to the bigger provinces. I think what they're doing is they're being very resourceful. The door is open for guys who haven't made it in other provinces to come in and push on. And, but they're also really smart in terms of how they've developed from their under eighteen, under sixteen, under eighteen, under twenties. How many times have they won the Interpro Championship in recent years? Like between under eighteens and under twenties, I think twice, have they? Yes, yeah, certainly. So like they're really they're a time. strong entity within themselves for what they've developed. So um, I don't think uh, I'd agree with. Well, Don's more asked a question than given a statement. Yeah, but, um, maybe maybe I've misinterpreted. Like maybe he may, maybe he actually means we should have Don on. Really, does anyone have Don's <laughs> number? Get him on the phone. But I suppose a feeder club, it, it's like almost you you loan players out to them in order to develop them, and maybe that's what he means with, with Kelleher in that he's moved down there and become a a potentially big player, and now yeah. he's been taken back. Like maybe is that that's not a sustainable model to his mind? But I don't know if it's yeah. But I mean. Connacht obviously would have preferred to hang on to him, but they certainly have other options in the back three. I know mm. he's in good form at the moment, and um, and certainly he's made a personal decision that he feels suits his career best, which is uh, good to see because you want a, a player who's happy with what they're doing and where they're, where they're playing their rugby. But I mean, they have Adi Lokan, they have um, plenty. They have Matt Healy, they've Kyle Godwin's played along the wing this season, so I think they'll be okay. Like the the, the budgeting thing is massive; they're equally funded now by the RFU mm. and. I guess old kind of, I don't know, stereotypes probably ring, ring, ring hard uh, and are hard to get over. Sorry, um, but certainly in the in the recent past, even Ulton Delan, like he's resigned. Mm. Word by all, like by all accounts, Munster were in for him yet again for a second contract in a row, um, trying to get him home as they would see it to Munster. But he's decided to stay there, and, and you're seeing a lot of guys do that. They are going to lose players from time to time because they're not competing potentially for a Champions Cup. Uh, win um, but certainly I think it's changed a lot in the last couple of years they're going to develop a new uh, high performance centre and stadium um, and that'll add a lot to their ability to hang on to players and actually attract a, a couple more players with a, an even bigger budget so um, no I wouldn't see them as a feeder team and even Jack Carty as well as, as re-signed as well so yeah I think there's plenty of positives there as well as the disappointment of losing a guy who's in really good form 